So this is when I first, oh my God, I can even open because it's a GIF. Okay, save that as GIF. Okay. <laughs> um, did she, did she who? My mom colored the thing, yeah. Um, if that's what you're asking. Uh, this is when I started to, the like I first tried digital, right? Um, I believe I, this is like coloring with the mouse. <laughs> I don't even think I had a fucking pen. I think these are um, my first, the first time I had, I tried out Photoshop. Um, and yeah, this is my first attempt at, at drawing digital shit. And this character is called Chris, and you'll see him quite often because he's like an outer, my self-insert, my outer ego. Um, so yeah, I always drew... I don't know why he's named Chris. Actually, I do know why. <laughs> it's because of Chris from King of Fighter. If you have seen Chris, King of Fighter, cough. Um, I always identified with, with him a lot growing up because I looked a lot like him. I was this little, little faggy boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I, there's no better way to describe it. This was me in school, so I was a, a fighting game game bitch. Um, Street Fighter and King of Fighter was my fucking jam, and like Chris is fucking OP. I lived for him. Um, uh, look at him. Look how stylish and gay he is. And plus, he becomes fucking when he becomes Orochi, fucking badass. And even more so, he turns into this fucking hunk god. This dude. Like, goals. I mean, seriously. Chris is everything, right? And I always loved that Chris is such an androgynous name. Look how- this is the best fucking team. This is his husband, hello. Yashiro fucks him every day, his fucking daddy. Look at him, what a god. And Shermie, like, look at her. She's a fucking queen, iconic as well. Like, <sighs> name a more iconic trio. I'll fucking wait. Everybody else go home. Anyway, that's why Chris became like an early alter ego of mine. Huh. There's that on that. Um, there was this guy, Sid. Probably called Sid because Sid from Final Fantasy, big crush. There's this, um, it's so bad. Look at this line art. Why is it so, like, broken? It's so bad, guys. And I can even, somehow I can zoom it because, of course, the fucking Windows 10 viewer, image viewer is shit. But if you can look at this little detail right here, it's totally inspired by rival schools. I don't know why the fucking net, the fish net with this, it's from the main character. Lots of references going on here, Batsu from Rival Schools. You can totally tell the references I had. He has this dude, he has this fucking stupid shirt, which is so hot. You can tell me there isn't gay people working for Capcom where, when a character like this exists. Like, he... No... Um, no fucking unironically wears this so that totally inspired this <laughs> um, there's this and it's right up here is written like Merry Christmas it was my attempt at doing a Christmas card and so it is straight I'm gonna fucking puke fucking puke me doing straight art. Good thing those days are over. I didn't discover... I, I knew I was gay, but I didn't discover I could draw gay shit. That's how a heteronormative um, society is or was when I was growing up. Uh, even though deep down I knew... I knew somehow the I liked boys. I would still draw girls 
and boys. I was true drug and straight couples. Like I, my brain didn't compute that it was allowed for me to draw boys with boys. <laughs> Who knew? Am I right? <laughs> Who'd who have thunk? Look at me today. Anyway, uh, fucking brush patterns and special effects and le fucking lens flare on this bitch. <laughs> Iconic early Photoshop mood. Um, this is Karen. Here's another fucking fact. Karen is Chris before I knew I could um, be myself, I guess, in my... Because I ha I really... When, when I... This is what I'm talking about. When I... I, I, can, ba I can barely say I when I identified myself as gay. But something in my early creative self... I don't know why subconsciously I created this girl which I would write all these stories in my head but it was like me vicariously living through her she would eventually have this boyfriend which is Anubis you probably see him um, somewhere in these drawings um, and that was me vicariously dating Anubis through her that's how, and and you can even see her again here, sort of, because the pink hair was it was like her iconic thing, <laughs> because of course she had to have fucking pink hair. Um, I guess this was this was a way that I expressed my inner femininity, I suppose. And there's that on that. Uh, there's this cool badass. This is a character I should fucking bring back. Uh, she was some sort of like assassin, a badass assassin girl. Like, queen, cold blooded mood, you know, like fucking gonna fucking stab your husband in the dick. <laughs> um, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this one. Okay, I guess this is the. F one of the first digital works I can say that I like I'm proud of quote unquote because you can tell how carefully I colored everything even though the harmony of the placement of the characters is fucking it's so messed up and not harmonious whatsoever it's just everything all over the place this was like when I discovered RPG Maker and these are all based on the sprites available in game. I bet if you could fetch like the the early RPG Maker versions, like um, I think it was RPG Maker ninety eight or something, the first one I used. Um, and I, I've I, that's so you can see, that's how you can see like that's how long I've been working with RPG Maker. That's how much I love this fucking software. I've been working since with it since back then. And the first project I made was called My Inner Soul. Ah, oh, cringe! How corny! <laughs> That's the corniest title ever. My Inner Soul just fucking rainbow crossy vibe. Cause like, I'm so gay. How to express all this gay I have inside me? <laughs> That's me. Um. Look how far apart these eyes are. <laughs> Why are my eyes so fucking far apart? They all have brain damage. TBH. So yeah, there were all these characters. I guess this is Karen here. Um, I detached, eventually I detached her from me. Um... So we could both be happy and Karen kind of became like this big sister that watches over Chris. And this is Chris being a little... Hugs for the cringy, <laughs> right? This is Chris being a little faggy boy, uh, a blonde iteration of him, I guess. Um, and this is Anubis, holy fuck, what's going up with this fucking hair? Um, all muscly and manly. Um, this is the... I guess the token straight character who was supposed to be this. Um, I think the joke is that he is actually also gay. He has a huge crush, uh, unrequited crush on Chris. 
but he also is always trying to pass off as straight by hitting on these two girls who are totally into the fact that he's not like straight at all and yeah, there's that on that um, I don't know who the fuck these people are this is clearly the bad guy this is clearly some um, Templar ish inspired oriented character who's like probably ranting about order and laws uh, and this green hair dude with a black coat cloak is probably like all mysterious I'm a necromancer and there's the whimsical magical girl elf girl ah I'm I'm so magical and whatever the fuck and the bad bitch which some knight I guess some old knowledgeable dude what the fuck with these hands I swear to god <laughs> this sword too is so fucking crooked um oh yeah these are part of this series so right there's this it, the order is so bad there's this this right then I worked on this there's also this character she is pretty much like Tressa from Octopath Traveler. She's just a girl who wants to sell shit around the world. <laughs> How fucked up is this digitalized version of this drawing? What the hell is even going on, girl? Is you okay? Is you good? Your eyes are so fucking apart. Um, your hat, it looks like a fucking paper hat, too. <laughs> I'm dying. Anyway, what's her name? Rose. Yeah, she's supposed to be a merchant girl. Um, this is Sapphire. Um, you can't really tell, but here on his chest is one of those um, card um, deck um, symbols. The, the little tree one with three balls, which I forgot. Is it cups? Um, you know what I'm talking about. He was supposed to be like have an, an other three brothers, each one like Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, and what some some yellow one. Um, but for some reason, I ever only drew out Sapphire. And yeah, he was supposed to be a magic magic alien boy of sorts. I don't know how to better explain him. And this is unknown. He, he's the big bad guy. Oh my god. He's hot. Must redraw. <laughs> he didn't have a heart. And started, instead of the heart, he had this fucking, like, orb. Because this, this is such, like, um, Magic Knights of Ray Earth. Or even Clamp in general. Because Clamp w was always doing, like, these fucking orb jewels attached to golden everything in their in their projects um like x and tokyo um babylon or magic knights of ray earth you know a fucking glowing eye with a lens flare iconic photoshop mood there's that for um for 2003 Ace of Clubs, thank you. Hi everyone, okay, real quick because I forgot to review this on stream, but there's also this drawing, which is, um, here's me, hello. Um, and it's like me and the friends I had at the time if we were all in a band. So this, um, and what is, what the fun thing is, uh, these two are the only ones I still have contact with. And all of these other people are just gone. I used to have a, the biggest crush on this boy. <laughs> um, and guess what happened? Broke my heart. Oh, big news. Uh, anyway, whatever. He gone um, long ago. Long ago. Even before um, most of the rest of them did. Um, but yeah, there's that on that. Oh, and also this guy right here is also supposed to be another friend of ours. Um, who, who, was, who would be the manager? Um, for the rest of the band, but I think it's just because I really didn't like him and I didn't want to actually draw him So I kind of just included him like this shade But yeah <laughs>